Assalamu alaikum A warm welcome to all of you at our channel Easy and Amazing Students, tell me Have you ever feel cold? Did you ever have a runny nose, fever or a body pain? Yes, most of us usually face this condition and we call it cold. Students, cold is a disease. Now here the question arises, what do you mean by disease? Do you have any idea? If yes, please write your answer in the comment section. Students, disease is any change in the body of living organism due to which we are unable to work normally or our body is unable to function properly, we call it disease. We can see that disease is an unhealthy state where something bad happens to our body or to our mind. It may cause pain or any part of our body stop working in the right way, we call it disease. Now here a question should come in your mind that what causes disease? Any idea students? If yes, please write your answer in the comment section. Students, diseases may be caused by several reasons. Like if we take lack of proper diet, it may cause disease. Like if we eat the food that is too old or not properly cooked, or if the food is rotten and we consume it, so it may cause disease. Disease is also caused due to lack of exercise. If you stay inactive whole day, you will not do something that makes yourself, that makes your body active or energetic, it may also cause diseases. And the most common reason is due to the germs invasion in our body, it also causes diseases. Another reason of diseases is the unhygienic condition of ourselves, of our surrounding. Means that if we do not take care of our personal hygiene, it may also cause disease. Getting students? Now here we use a term germs. Do you know what do we mean by germs? If yes, please write your answer in the comment section. Students, germs are harmful microorganisms. Now, what do we mean by microorganism? Look at the word micro. Micro means small, tiny, and organisms means living things. It means that microorganisms are small living organisms. Get it? And germs are harmful microorganisms. It means that if germs are harmful microorganisms, there must be good microorganism also. Yes, there are also many microorganisms that are benefited for us. Now, what are these? We will discuss it in any other video. Okay. Right now, just keep it in mind that germs are harmful microorganisms. And microorganisms are tiny living things which we cannot see with our naked eye. So what we need to see that? We need a microscope to see that. Get it? And these microorganisms are present all around us. It is present in air, in water, even in, inside our body. And all around us, these microorganisms are present. And the harmful microorganisms are called as germs. These germs enters in our body and causes diseases. Students, whenever we suffer from a disease, we go to the doctor. And doctor asks us what happened to us, yeah, how you are feeling. Then we tell them whatever we are feeling like we are having a fever or you have a runny nose or you are feeling abdominal pain. Whatever you are feeling, you tell it to the doctor. What are these? These are called as symptoms. Get it? And what do we mean by symptoms? Symptoms are the indications. These are the signs that we are having a disease. Getting students? What is a symptom? Symptoms is a change in the body 
that indicate the presence of any disease. Get it? And by telling the symptoms to the doctor, you help them figure it out what's wrong with us. You can take the symptoms just like a clue. As you need clues to solve a mystery, in the same way, doctors need symptoms to identify the disease. Getting students? You must have listened about different diseases like influenza, tuberculosis, common cold, malaria, dengue, COVID-19, and heart diseases, cancer, lungs infection, and many other diseases. Students, all these diseases are divided into two main types. Get it? We can say that diseases are of two types. One is communicable disease and second one is non-communicable disease. Now, the question arises, what do we mean by communicable diseases and what do we mean by non-communicable diseases? Students, we are going to discuss all about communicable and non-communicable diseases in any other video. Get it? Today, just keep in mind about the diseases and symptoms. Get it? What do we mean by diseases? Diseases is any change in the body of living organism that prevent it from working normally. And what are symptoms? Symptoms are the indication of the presence of any disease. Getting students? So, it was all about diseases and symptoms. I hope there isn't any confusion, but still, if you have any confusion, you may ask through the comment section. Getting? See you in the next video. Till then, uh, take very good care of yourself. And please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Allah Hafiz.